Welcome to the learn section. Today we are going to explore the squat and the structure of the learn videos goes as such. We're going to look at what we look for for good attributes to perform the movement. Then we're going to look at some of the things to try not to do and then we're going to reinforce the good technique with a couple of minutes of practice moving at a very comfortable pace and really giving you the chance to work with me to develop your technique to use in the circuits. So, let's set up with all of the major points of a good squat. So what we're looking for is something in and around shoulder width. And initially, I think it's easiest if you point your toes so they just turn out a little bit from completely straight on. So using a clock analogy, We've got your left foot turning to about 11 o'clock and your right foot turning to about 1 o'clock. From there, we're going to look at keeping a strong and stable foot base. The knees track down the middle of the feet. Squeeze your bum and your abs to support the structure as you go down. And we're thinking about keeping our hips level. From there, with good overall posture, we've got our head and chest up, but our ribs down, and we want to breathe through the movement as well. So if I do a couple of reps now in sequence, with that foot base, the knees tracking nicely over the toes, so that as I look down, if I were to just take a little snapshot, I can't really see my feet as I look straight down on both sides. From there, I'm thinking of holding appropriate tension in the posterior chain or the muscles on the back of my body. And here, with my chest and head up but my ribs down cue, I'm not working very hard in this arched position here. So I'm just taking that out but retaining some tension so that I'm not just collapsing forwards. Finding the appropriate level of tension to do the movement gracefully it's a really, really valuable skill and it'll take some time and that's what these videos will help you achieve. So, feet, 1 and 11 o'clock, knees tracking right down the middle of the feet, squeeze, pull myself down to an appropriate depth and where that depth is going to be appropriate for you is the depth at which point you're no longer able to hold this shape and you start rounding out through your lumbar spine. So we don't want that to happen. And if that's around here to start with, that's your depth. Create tension to support that position. Breathing in through the nose. And then breathe out on the way up. When you're not moving very fast and just learning the technique, try and retain that nasal breathing. As you start moving a bit faster or with more load, that can adjust accordingly. So I'm gonna do a few reps here. And now let's look at some of the attributes that perform, that constitute poor movement. So here, if I've set up in a position that's not really appropriate for me, as I go down, you'll start to see things like your knees dropping to the inside of your body or an excessive pushing out of the knees. And you see there, I start to go off that strong and stable foot base because now I'm no longer able to keep that structure. So, we want to avoid the knees dropping in or being forced to wrench out. We've talked about the level hips, and if I start to go into a big arch like this, and you'll feel a lot of tension in your low back, you've probably set up for a position that's not going to be suitable for your current squat. From there, that chest up, but ribs going up at the same time, you start to see now that arch form here in the mid back. Again, that's gonna feel uncomfortable as you do lots and lots of reps. So it's learning how to keep a normal integrated posture. So I'm here in a pretty much a normal standing position and it stays the same as I go down and come back up again. And then finally, breathe through the nose out through the nose, especially at this stage when we're not moving very quickly. So, 
Let's look at good performance and we'll do some reps together. What can also help you is just having your hands out for some counterbalance and just making sure here that the shoulders don't drift up into the ears, you have a long neck and let's do some reps. From time to time, take a look at the position of your knees relative to your toes. Is the knee pointing straight down the line of the feet as they're set up? Have a little check and feel what's going on in your back, your hips. Are you staying well balanced? Does your weight shift over from one side to the other as you squat? Again, that's something you want to try and avoid. You want to have a good 50-50 distribution of weight between left and right. Let's do five more reps. One, two, three, four, last one, and five. Thanks for joining me for squats. See you on the next video.